Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd share something with you. I just got this notice from Google Plus, and uh, forgive me if I struggle reading here, but I, I need some glasses like in a big old way, and uh, my eyes are hurting a little bit because I spend too much time on the computer, but um, I'm going to try to get through this. It says, uh, Dear Cruising Cav 1, We've determined that your post may be in violation of our user content and conduct policy. Spamming, including sending unwanted promotional or commercial content, or engaging in unwanted or mass solicitation is not permitted. Continued violation of our policies can lead to the loss of your ability to use some or all features of Google Plus. Learn more. Sincerely, the Google Plus team. So, okay, so I got to learn more here. Uh, notice that they didn't say exactly what I did, but uh, here's, a, here's a quick list. Uh, it just tells you to pick your audience appropriately contribute to the conversation which you know I do with my comments and give my opinion just you know that's what comments are for right add people to your circles who interest you uh, don't share restricted content which I don't do uh, don't you know use or, or spread unwanted commercial content or spam again I said I don't do that uh, don't be involved in pornography or s sexually explicit material. I don't do that. Uh, violent, shocking, or disgusting content. I'm not violent, and I don't say anything that particularly shocking to people. I'm sure, and I definitely don't, you know, cuss and swear and engage in disgusting content. I don't harass people. You know, unless, uh, you know, giving my opinion on things or correcting false doctrine because I'm a Christian and I do my best to teach what the Word says. And, um, you know, if some people think that's harassing behavior, then, you know, I just say, hey, this is what the Scripture says. But, uh, so I don't really see that as harassing. And then illegal activities, such as, um, and I read it before, promoting drugs or alcohol sales or anything like that so this is all just totally bogus so you know I replied to these guys and um, I said what in God's name are you talking about I don't cuss or excuse me I don't spam cuss etc please provide an example of what you're talking about and show me exactly where I have crossed some line and are broken some rules so that I can review same and forward same to legal counsel necessary for an opinion, Kevin Richardson. So, I mean, I, you know, I've been hearing all over lately about the censorship, 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 censorship. I, I heard today that RT just got kicked out of the UK um, because they're willing to address things that mainstream media is not. Now, as far as Google Plus goes, I don't really post much to Google Plus other than share other people's videos. And, um, oh, well, this is the first time I saw this. Your content has recently violated our policy. Spamming, including sending unwarranted promotions or commercial content or unwanted mass solicitation is not permitted. If you continue... You may lose your ability to use some or all of the Google Pluses and other Google services. Okay. Well, let, let's just see what what my content is is uh, done here because I haven't done anything. All I've done is share some videos. Uh, you know that other people make for the most part
I mean, here's my last comment. If Hillary's campaign is this unethical, just imagine what her presidential administration would be look like, would be like. Ugly, ugly, ugly. I mean, is that breaking some rule? That's just my opinion. And you know, she's a she's a pathological liar. It's been proven time and time and time and time again. And why the government's protecting her, I don't know. Am I breaking some kind of Google rule, you know, for saying that? Uh, if I am, throw me off. Because that's the truth. And, uh, you know, even the Senate and, and Congress has come down on her and, and, you know, all this mess that she's involved in. So, I mean, but, but here's a list. And here's, a, by the way, here's a video about... Russia Today censored. So is that what I'm going through? Could be. I don't know. Uh, here's another video, a comment I made. Eyewitness reports Hillary melts down after an in interview. Is that is that censorship worthy? I don't know. Maybe so. But, um, and this, this talks about Julius Assange. I just said un, unconfirmed. But possible, at least in my reality, uh, remember, uh, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproven, and uh, are reproved. And that's John 3.20, King James Version. Is that, you know, spam? Is that some kind of illegal content might be because you know it is the word of God and, and maybe uh, this new world order and all these corporations that, that you know don't follow the word of God maybe that's what they see but you see here you know I haven't done anything I, I, I don't know what they're talking about like I said I don't cuss I don't swear I don't, I don't I'm completely flabbergasted so I ask him for proof. I'll give you guys follow up and, and let you know, you know, what happens. But I don't, I don't know what I've done wrong. And I've asked for proof, you know, that that, that they, you know, tell me what I've done because I, I I don't get it. And I told him to give me an example. So any of you guys, uh, uh, you know, having problems like this? I mean, I did Charles Watson. Uh, you know, his dad died, and I was trying to make a quick post on, on his and, you know, share a scripture and send him some love. And, and it said, uh, unknown error, unknown error. I even tried another browser, unknown error, unknown error. You know, so I'm, I'm totally flabbergasted by this. So, if you guys are having problems with this, let me know, because, uh, you know, I've, I've had some other issues. I, I've had, you know, my PayPal account jacked with, which I don't get, hardly get any donations at all. I had one guy that was sending me $9 a month, and I was letting a queue because of a crew, so I was trying to save enough money to buy a bag of rice so I could feed some poor people, and I was almost there. Next thing you know, they took all the money back. <laughs> you know, and I called them, and, and I says, what's up with this? And, and, and they said, oh, well, the guy says his credit card was stolen, and uh, uh, he didn't authorize it. And I went, oh, well, that makes sense. He's been sending me $9, you know, for six months or so now. And, um, you know, suddenly, you know, he, he didn't authorize it. So, you know, I don't know. Then my bank sends that, you know, I had two years left on my ATM card. And um, they said they sent me a new one because they wanted to put a new chip or something in it. Well, I never got it. And I'm way over here in the Philippines. And that's how I get my money is out of the ATM. Well, now my ATM card's not working. So, you know, uh, I really had to go through some big hoops trying to get my money without an ATM card. So... I, I think that, I, you know, I've been fingered maybe by some New World Order, you know, uh, undesirables, possibly, and um, because I spread the Word of God. That's my job. So if you guys don't like it, sue me.
You know, throw me off Google. Chop off my head. Hey, the die is game. I don't care. So, you know, hey, God bless you guys. If, if you guys are having problems like this, let me know. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to support us, support us. If you don't, okay. But I'm trying to do my very best over here. So anything you can do to help us out, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, and God bless you. And if there's anything I can do to help you, please let me know. I'll do my best for you. Okay? Take care now. Bye-bye.